We're in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night because we are heading to Idaho for a rescue mission. Let's keep going. I'll let you guess why I had to stop. Welcome to Idaho. Crossing over the river into the state of Idaho. And yes, I skipped a few steps and it's much later in the day because it's just a whole lot of boring driving, so we skipped it. Now we're gonna skip a whole bunch more boring driving and we'll see you when we get there. Well, good morning, sunshine. Yeah, hi, how's it going? Isn't trucking so much fun? It is. You, you are so excited to be a truck driver. Yeah, it's awesome, it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. Yeah. So we're here in Idaho picking up Ben and his trailer. What do you I think? Love. Lost an injector? No, nope, this is pump. Oh, fuel pump? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, uh, yeah. I will give a shout out. This is Western States Caterpillar Diesel Repair in Meridian, Idaho. And this place is freaking awesome. These guys know their stuff. The guy that's working on my truck, he's been working on those trucks since they were brand new. He started here in January of 1989. Can I bring mine over? Because yeah. uh, it's a Cummins, but yeah. I'm sure the cat guys have better luck with it than tech did. He, he had, we started it up, he did like three little things on it, and he's like, yep, shut the hood, turn it off, I already know what it is. Like, doesn't even, and then no computers, so, so let's no go. Nothing. let's go drop your trailer off, load yeah. my truck up, yeah. and we'll come back. I feel like that'd be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You, you know the problem I already see? What, there's just one? So the problem I see is you unhooked this trailer with your little lowrider truck over there. No, I dumped the bags after I unhooked it. And it's still lower than mine. Look it. I know, because you have total 24 fives. We gotta get that up there. Well, can you dump the rear end? That is dumped. What? I can't dump the tires, look. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, my, that's my suspension dumped. Yeah, the landing gear doesn't work on it. The landing gear doesn't work. Uh -uh. That's why it's on wood block. And I had him put it up really high so that it would... This is really... <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like six inches off my trailer, eight inches off my trailer on my truck when I pulled out after dumping the bags. Welcome to life with a Western Star. Right? Uh, yeah, maybe we can have him get a book. Um, let me ease back and see if it'll do it. We don't want to push it off the block, so... I don't want you to smash the body. No. The brakes are locked. Well, before we go to work, what do we have here? Uh, four scouts and uh, a diesel truck chassis that everybody here is in love with. This is a 79 square body Chevy with a 453T Detroit with a four-speed and a three-speed Browning behind it. Yeah. Huh. It was like the Cadillac trucker of the 70s, this guy was. And then you just set this on top? Yeah, I mean, if it, if it fits, it fits. <laughs> what, right? is, what is going on That's here? all the extra. <laughs> you know when you get these straps and they have 24 feet of extra strap? You have to put it somewhere. That would paint. Hey, you know what that is? That was my DOT deterrent. I yeah. actually bought that at the truck stop and just threw it on real quick. I can tell yeah. how shiny. Yeah, it's real tight. <laughs> hey, you were smart though in putting the whole mess of extra strap disaster on the not scale side of the truck. That's a pro trucker move right there. Not, yeah. Because when you go through the scales, this is the side of the truck that the inspectors see looking out the window. I don't go through the scales. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Motorhome. <laughs> yeah. right, we have to stop the scales in your truck. Let me back the frame rail under, and okay. we'll put a board in there, and then I'll raise my suspension, and then we can maybe put some more under the landing gear. Oh. Stop me when I get... Yeah, I got it. Right there. Okay, stop me when I get under the frame rail. Will that fit in there? I don't know. Put it all the way up. There's literally every piece of heavy equipment we could possibly want sitting in this yard. Yeah, and we're trying to jimmy it together. <laughs> Let's do it with a block of wood. Wire and Going up. Lower. Not, 
It moves some. Your trailer flexed. Let me drop it and scoot back some. Oh, oh, oh. So it would have been fine, but it hit the tires. No, the board's, it's kinda. And you hit my uh, electrical plug. It's, it's fine, look. I know, it's just starting to bend. It's, I, everything else on this trailer is rusty and I fixed everything else, that's the last thing to fix. But my truck's so low, I haven't fixed it. Good times, yeah. I didn't realize how much lower my truck was than his. I just told the people I didn't realize how much lower my truck was than yours. It's yes. significant. Yeah. My, mine's a work truck. Mine is too. It does a lot of work. It's not the same kind of work that yours does. Yours is just working on taking up space in your shop half the time. Well, it doesn't drive when the weather's bad. So. It's a princess. It's the princess hauler. Call it that. Why is your truck so low? Because it looks awesome. Yeah, this looks so cool right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you were looking for some video content today. You just didn't realize it was five and a half hours away. Yeah, I didn't think it would be something so stupid as trying to hook up to a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly didn't even think about this part. I didn't either. Because I just assumed the landing gear worked. Yeah. We can see if we can me. borrow a grease gun and grease that landing gear so we can make it work. I think you're beyond grease. Yeah, I think so too. I can go ask the guy that's working on my truck about it. He's the smartest guy in the shop. Yeah. Why don't I do that? Because he has all kinds of good... Here, you take this camera. Let me go ask him. And you know why you'll like him? What? Guess what his name is? What? Casey! Yeah, those are the best kind. Yeah, he goes by his initials. Okay, so I have unhooked my leveling valve. I'm going to raise the truck up. And now I'm going to stop it. And to fix this issue, because that's sketchy. How's it going? Fine art. What's that? Collector of fine art? Yeah. Okay, you see I way overextended my airbags down there. You got up high enough to get another block under the landing gear over there. Now I'm bringing it back down. And hopefully it'll sit uh, not on my tires. If it's not on my tires, I think I can get under it.
are headed out of here. Those guys are very helpful. This place is awesome. This is a hundred percent not the uh, the not same the as the last dealer experience. No, this I had. is a 180 degree <laughs> yeah. difference from what you're used to. Yes, those yeah. guys were very helpful. Yeah. Let's get out of uh, oh. that hallway. Oh, I see what he's doing. We're gonna go around each other and be smart so that he can swing his turn and I can swing mine. It's almost like he's done this before. Not his first time in this lot. That's the thing about trucking, is sometimes the Look rules this guy here that parks on the red. The rules red. don't make sense. Stay to the right. Nope. Both of us go to the left. It makes more sense. I do really like their way of thinking, where they're like, hey, put these on, because if we look like we're being safe, safety won't come over and see that we're doing unsafe things. Right. I took mine off already. I, I want to look professional going on. Maybe if the DOT guys think I'm being safe, they won't pull me oh, over yeah. and see that I'm doing unsafe things. Okay, sure. We could go with that. Yeah. Okay, Ben, yeah. since uh, we're moving now and out of there, yeah. and I have not explained at all what's going on yet. This yeah. is like, the video basically started right there. So, yeah. why do you have all these scouts on this trailer in Idaho? Uh, yeah. How did we end up at this point? So, I bought two scouts from one of my YouTube subscribers, and then I bought two more scouts and a truck chassis from another YouTube subscriber in two different locations in Montana. I did this like, I don't know, two months ago probably. They've been paid for, all blah, 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 whatever. So this was the big trip to take the Peterbilt and the trailer and go load everything up and really give everything a good shakedown test and 2,000 miles, you know, all's, all's well. So that's what I was doing. And then I wasn't. And well, welcome back to Oregon. Okay, so we're back in Oregon. We're hungry. We want food. The truck stop is over there across the street. But we parked in this dirt lot right here because there's a bunch of truck drivers over there, so we park here. Yeah, it didn't look like any fun at all. No, I'd, it, I'd rather walk. It looked like an absolute shit show in there, the mess of trucks trying to get through the fuel islands and the scale and all that, so yeah. we will skip that. They can't tell us all. <laughs> oh. What's the issue? The freezer broke. The freezer broke, so Subway has no meat. Nothing. This is all empty. This meat clearly doesn't need a freezer, so it's fine. Should we like... There's nothing for a while. Yeah, I, I haven't eaten for We gotta like get something. So long. Hey, this is a disaster over here I was talking about. They're all clogged up over there. All the pumps are full. The trucks lined up behind trucks and they are lined up down the road there. Oh, way down the road there. I do kind of need fuel. That's why we went to the other place, but that one's not working the card block. But I'm pretty sure I have enough to make it to Burns. So we're going to skip this whole disaster. I'm liking the look of the dually scout on the extended diesel chassis. I think you should just mount it like that. Yeah, just put the, just take the chassis from underneath the scout and just mount that right on the body. That's like nice, the perfect amount of rat rottedness. Yep. With the brush guard, the Chevy bumper and everything. Yeah. Hey look, the Western Star. Yep. Okay, we're back in the truck and uh, the, the chicken place still had chicken. So we got some. And uh, I'm not sure if they had some secret freezer that the rest of that whole truck stop did not. That kept the chicken good. Man, that was a that was a big. Or if this is some fake ass chicken that just doesn't even need to be in a freezer in the first place. It's fine. I don't not worry about it. Well, I have an Osmi awesome bag, so if this goes bad, no well, consequence well, on my end. You. Yeah. That. Right. Yeah. I'll be I'll be riding it back in one of those scouts. It's one of the benefits to an Osmi awesome bag. I'm uh, immune to food. What food poison? Food poisoning? Food poisoning. That's wow. the word. Let's wow. get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, we are stopped here in uh, Juntura, Oregon. 
We're gonna look over some straps. Make sure nothing's out of the ordinary. One of these is already sold. I don't remember which one he said. Which one's sold? Oh, the one that's most likely to fall off? Yep. Perfect. Yep. Good, good. One that we might potentially lose. Must recognize us. Because <laughs> we're so famous. Like the jump. Yeah, no, he's definitely honking at this, not us. Not us. All looks good to me. Let's uh, keep going down the road. Okay, we're pulling in the scales here to see how much uh, not because the this load weighs. Yeah, ignore that thing. Uh, so guess below what we weigh total gross weight and what the load is trailer and load itself weighs. You know, minus my truck. Put that down below. See right who's now. close. So, steer axle is 11,000, 11, dead on. Okay. 11,000. Oh, you're doing, that, you're doing the old calculator? Yep. Now let's creep forward to the drives. Come on, put your comment down there. What do you think the gross weight is and what do you think the load weight is? Trailer and load together. Stop. No, not yet. Pull, I'm not in the center of the scale pad. Now we stop. Sorry. Actually, you can go a little further. Forward. Nineteen thousand nine hundred. Go a little further forward and see what happens. You're you're on the back of the scale. No, I'm not. No, you are. No, I'm not. Right. I'm dead center there. of the scale. Oh wow! It still says the same number. Shut up. <laughs> now let's see what the trailer is. The trailer's just got one axle under it. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Dude, we're legal on that rear axle. It's 22.5 axle. 21,900 equals, we're 52,800 pounds. It's a 32 8 trailer. Minus 20,000 pound truck of mine equals 32,800 pounds. I was off by 4,000 pounds. Hey, that's the guy that was at the truck place this morning in Meridian. Remember how he was parked along the truck with his hazard? Oh, yeah, he's the one we had to get around. Yeah, and the big truck with the loader had to get around, too. That is lighter than I thought. My 4,000, 3,800. Hey, look at that international right there. You recognize that paint scheme? Oh, yeah, look at that. They have to come pick that up if something else happens. Well, let's go uh, get some fuel. Okay. Check out the full service you get here at the at the fuel stations in Burns. I just, I'm, I'm gonna talk first because I just, on my video, I put. So things look a little different when we get home. Yes. My video stopped when I parked the Peterbilt last night. None of what we did today I filmed yet. So they're gonna have to go to my channel to see my story of this whole. You'll see how Ben ended up in this mess. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see how I got out of it. Yeah. And thankfully now Casey's only half an hour from his house, not five and a half hours from his house. And. We're going to unload all this hot garbage with a forklift real quick. And everybody's going to go home, sleep in their own bed, and shower in their own shower. We made it back, no problem. The, the, the trip was actually really smooth all yeah, the way back. The trailer was great. The only problem was two idiots couldn't figure out how to hook up to a trailer in a dead, flat, level, paved parking lot. But luckily, those guys were super helpful. And Yeah, we got on our, our free OSHA vests <laughs> that we get to keep. And yeah. uh, made sure to keep the safety officers happy. And they were really nice and really helpful. That was a great dealership. Yeah. The only thing I ask is next time you break down, not that I want you to break down again, yeah, I'm not can to. you do it in Montana? Because I really like going to Montana and don't get to go there nearly enough. How about this? How about you just come with me and you can drive half the time? Nah. <laughs> Either way, those still got to get unloaded. 
Blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm tired. Me too. Um, that's a whole other video, so we'll see you then.